Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> he hangs out with me in my office all day long. <laughs> Very cool. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. I I watched all three episodes. They're amazing. I'm going to not fangirl for five minutes. I'm actually going to ask questions. Um, so I because we're geek mom and we tend to take sort of a human relations kind of approach to things, I was really interested in the way you all focused on relationships in, in this show, especially because, as I'd mentioned, you know, I think the comic was great. I loved it. And when we spoke at New York Comic Con, you guys said you used it as a springboard. But you guys really built out Lunella as someone who wants to build relationships, wants to have them. So with a character, and you dealt with some really major themes like gentrification and social justice. And I loved how you brought all that together. So with someone like Lunella, who's equal parts intellectually beyond her years as a gifted kid, and emotionally at her age, why did you choose to focus this story around relationships? And how do you balance that intellectual and emotional nuance of a gifted kid? Absolutely. Well, Disney Disney does relationships really well. Disney does the, the human story, the human connection story very well. And Marvel has always given a platform of really amazing storytelling as well. So that was definitely an important thing for the scope of the series for Lunella Lafayette to kind of start at a place where it's her intellect is almost preventing her from connecting to people in a way. Mm -hmm. um, and so she meets Casey early in the first episode. And Casey is the most unlikely friend that that Lunella would have, <laughs> but they connect. And it's the type of thing where they're both looking for a level of human interaction and connection. Um, and they kind of complete each other in that way. So yeah, it's, it's really important because also every episode uh, thematically is based on something that's not just relatable to us, but certainly relatable to a 13 year old. Mm -hmm. This episode is about jealousy. This episode is about impatience. Um, and it's the type of thing where you want to see Luna Lafayette just develop as a human being over the course of the series. So you have someplace to go. And it's, it's, you know, the fact that Lunella is a 13 year old girl who just happens to be a superhero. So you want to, you have to address those aspects of life. You know, we didn't want to her just to be about her superhero and being smart. You know, we wanted Lunella to be a well-rounded three-dimensional character. Intelligence does not, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. Intelligence doesn't uh, equate wisdom. Right. I love that because I have a 13 year old who is on that gifted spectrum. So we understand both struggles really, really. <laughs> um, how do you get yourselves in the mind of a 13 year old girl? <laughs> we well, we we I, Rodney and I pretty much. We have writers for that. <laughs> That's where I was going. We have we have an amazing writing staff. We currently have an all female writing room which has been absolutely fantastic. And I think that a lot of it is, is kind of going into those experiences and the things that we've lived through and the things that we've learned and just kind of bringing it to the table and finding a way to have Lunella be kind of the storyteller for a lot of these relatable human emotions. And I really do love the fact that she's so, the nice thing about her being intelligent is she's super aware of things in ways that not all kids are. And um, how did you, how did you, what made you decide to bring some of these other issues in and see it through the lens of someone who's emotionally immature, but intellectually super like aware and gets it? I think that a lot of the social issues that, that we talk about and, and are in the show, we wanted to make sure that they were through the eyes of the 13 year old, because primarily our audience will be kids, even though I think that parents will love the show as well. So we wanted to make sure that it was through their perspective, but that there was also, we didn't also like to talk down to children. We wanted to make sure that this is the reality of the situation and this is this is what these real experiences would feel like. So, um, so it was important for us to make sure that we told this authentically in that way and telling it through a character that is 
brilliant at the same time, but emotionally not quite there yet. It provided that level of contrast to be able to tell that because it's not just thinking about things academically. Right. Um, it's thinking about things with your heart. So it was a, it was a, it, we had a really good balance to be able to tell these stories. And that's, and that's part, you know, credit to the, our writing team in terms of just being able to tackle certain subject matters, but do it in a way that doesn't seem preachy. It's not, scaring you but it's the way that produces a, a, a dialogue and and also is entertaining in a way and i love that you brought so much joy into it because it's easy to sort of fall into a a negative emotional place from some of these stories and i really just the whole thing like i see so much of my kid in her even though he thinks he's eduardo <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys hit the nail on the head with her as a character and and all of the challenges that go along with it so i really love that thank you um, thank you so thank you 